Okay, guys, it is the next day. It is Sunday, July 21st. Um, and this is kind of how the covers look for the comforter. So it's fluffed up nicely. This is how thick it's looking right now. And yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm about to throw it in the dryer real quick so it can fluff up a little bit more. I want to wash it, but I don't want to wash it in my washer machine because I have the little thing in the middle. Um, and I feel like that's the reason why a couple of my comforters have gotten messed up in the past. So I kind of want to take it to a laundromat, but I'm just going to throw it in the dryer and hopefully let it fluff up some. And then I'm going to put it on a bed and see how I feel about it tonight. Um, for the next week or so, I'm going to put it on my, I just put on my white sheets, um, on the bed and I'll let you guys know how the first night goes, how I like it. And I'll show you guys how it looks once I... Put it on the bed. So I just vacuumed my floors up. And yeah, this is kind of how my room looks like as of right now. I just put my white sheets on. I have a bed skirt and my Amazon cart that I'm about to order, but I'm trying to find um, new sheets, maybe from Amazon. I'm gonna try to go to Target sometime this week and see if they maybe have the sheets in person that I'm looking for or a different version of the sheets kind of feel them to touch them to see how I feel about them and then just get the sheets and then again a bed skirt that I have from Amazon and then see if Target or Marshalls has some extra pillows so that way I can throw away all these pillows because my memory foam pillows come tomorrow and hopefully this week I'll be able to you know have all my pillows set and that way I'm just trying to find a duvet cover for the duvet and also um my throw pillows <laughs> i'm blanking i would come on camera but i ain't dressed appropriately so i will just say goodbye here see you tom see you later on this week bye y'all and welcome back to my channel life of deja today is tuesday july 24th it is about 1 30 1 p.m i'm here waiting on my task rabbit person to come and hang my curtains and my mirror for the bar cart i'm about to run downstairs to take out some 
boxes to the recycling and to get my other Amazon packages that came today. And then later on, we'll do a little haul. Got some exciting things planned for today. Um, one thing I might keep secret or I might tell you, I don't know until later, but we'll figure that out then. Um, but just a disclaimer, I am running off of three hours. About three hours of sleep. I didn't get home from work until seven something this morning. And I had a phone call meeting at nine. And then I had another meeting at 12. And I kept waking up periodically because I was waiting for my boss to call me back. Just a whole thing, a whole thing. Yes to do, yes to do. <laughs> Yesterday was a 22 hour day at work, so long day. My camera's dying. I have another battery that should be charged. Um, if not, I'll put the other ones on the charger, but let me go get my packages real quick. I just wanted to say good morning and start the vlog. Happy Tuesday. All right, see you soon. All right, y'all, so I just got a text that my tasker is here registering his car about to come up. So I will let you know how it goes. I'm so excited. Oh, and I got my Amazon packages, but we'll do a haul after he leaves. Bye. It's so bright in my room. <laughs> oh, side note, comforter, 10 out of 10. Love it. Highly recommend. Soft, fluffy. It weighs you down because it's like a heavy comforter. Even though it's summertime, it feels good. But I also keep my house cold. But yeah, 10 out of 10. In the car? Okay guys, my curtains are hung up. I have the blinds open right now. But I just want to show you. They look good. I forgot that these poles, the holes in the curtains were silver. I bought the curtains in 108 and they're both in 108 for some reason the black curtains stop at the baseboard like above the baseboard but the gray curtains stop almost at the floor where i want them to i don't know why they're coming through as different measurements when they're both hung in the same holes and i don't know but the black ones are coming up short and the gray ones are coming up perfect. But I do love the look of the curtains. They're like nice, soft, shiny. It goes nicely with the bed. And then I have the gray sheer curtains, which is going to tie in when I get all my stuff for the bed. And um, the sheer ones are supposed to be on a curtain rod underneath the black ones. So that way I can open the black ones and have the sheer ones closed. Or I can open the sheer ones and have the black ones closed. Whatever, whatever. But I only had one curtain rod. So I put both sets of curtains up here just to have them up. But my curtains are up, y'all. And they up, up this time. They're not going to fall. Now, I will say the task guy, he did help take the old, the last um, peel and stick rod off the the hook off and it did damage the wall a little bit but the other ones didn't um that fell naturally but that one did a little bit but how the curtains look they look cute i'm gonna show you them opened a little bit later and here's the mirror mirror looks good like it's gorgeous and i'm about to put the bar cart back here but i just think it is so freaking cute so freaking cute. So let's put the bar cart back and then we'll do a quick Amazon haul. Okay y'all, so this is how the bar cart is looking as of now. Let me move these blankets. Don't want the vibe. Okay y'all, so this is how the bar cart is looking as of now. 
it is gorgeous now the mirror is a little off centered i don't know if you can tell i did have to pull the bar cart like to the point where it's touching the couch to kind of bring it in a little bit because of the placement of the studs in the wall so he couldn't mount it perfectly centered where i had the bar cart originally because of the stud was a little bit to the right and to the left so it either was going to be super super close in the kitchen or just a little off centered on the couch on the wall and i chose this spot because i thought that this spot was the better of the two options versus it being like here like i felt like it would look crazy over there but yeah being that it's such a large mirror it does still look good like you i feel like you don't really tell that it's off centered too much in this little spot here but yeah i think it still looks freaking amazing like if i do say so myself um and yeah it's just a gorgeous mirror and um he said he could have i think he said he could have hung it with just in the drywall he had like drywall locks or something like that but he was like if we do it in the studs it will be more secure and i said boo give me more secure i need security i need stability i need it's not going nowhere so that's what he gave me and i think he said the the mirror only has one bracket on it i think he said the screw or the lock or whatever he used holds up to 75 pounds and this mirror is not 75 pounds so it's a lot of power a lot of strength potential in this screw and it's good so yeah mirror is up it's gonna be stunning so now that this is up i am trying to figure out if i want to do like a light above i don't think i want to light above but maybe a light on this side like either like a wall light or a nice uh light standing up here like a floor light or maybe something small on the actual bar cart i don't know but i do want to bring in a small light in this area but it's coming together y'all it's coming together y'all so today it is raining so we're not going outside today tomorrow i do want to go outside i have some things i want to do and um one of the things i want to do is go get the wine glasses and the cocktail glasses so that we can finish out this bar cart and get a glass for those um get the get the wine glasses for the second shelf get the cocktail glasses for the top shelf get a little nice little jar for this and then um i'm not going to get the alcohol probably this video maybe i'll try to get like a bottle or two of wine or something something cute a nice decanter if i can to put over here to kind of fill the space a little bit more but it's coming together and y'all my tasker complimented me on my my apartment he said oh look good i said oh thank you i'll be out here trying i'll be out here trying he even you're like yeah i'll be out here trying so yeah that is done that is said and done for now at least we are coming together and y'all like i said the curtains look so freaking good we are about to get in here and do i don't know if we're gonna do it in this video or if we're gonna do it in another video um we'll see i think it'll probably be in another video though but let me prop you guys up so we can do a quick amazon haul was we'll literally right here okay guys so we're gonna do a super quick amazon haul um kind of going over some things that i got so first of which my pillows came i went ahead and took them out the, the box that was basically off them already falling apart and these are weekender gel memory foam pillows um they have a three-year warranty um let me see yeah so carefully remove plastic package do not fully cut through pillow Place the unrolled compressed pillow on a flat surface in a warm, well-ventilated room and allow 24 to 40 hours of expansion. Very normal and will not affect the performance. Okay, synthesis to temperature. When exposed to colder temperatures, your pillow will become harder. 
Your body heat will help soften the foam. Do not use external heat source on the pillow. New member foam will have a slight odor, completely harmless, and will dissipate over a short period of time with regular use to expedite to expedite odor. Odor. I can't speak. Remove and wash the cover and place the pillow in a dry, sunny place. Okay. So these are the pillows I talked to you guys about in last week's video that I spent 60 something dollars on. I'll link them in the description box below. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm excited and I did get them in king size. Oh, so I just ripped up here. How do you feel about that? You feel a little, mm -hmm. Okay. So here are the pillows. They were vacuum sealed and rolled up real tight. So I have to let them sit for 24 to 48 hours. They look a little short to be a king, but it did say something about that. But what does make me happy is the fact that I can take this cover off and wash it. But this is what the inside of the pillow looks like. It's this gel memory foam, soft, cooling. It's nice. So I'm excited. It seems like it's a nice pillow so far. And I like the waffled pattern so i'm gonna go set these on the couch so these can air out well um hey guys let's switch sides okay so the next thing i order is something for the bedroom which is actually My step stool's right there. So this is the next thing I ordered for the bedroom because I told you guys all we're doing bar, we're gonna be trying to do bedroom and knock it all out and hopefully be done by mid office. So this here is just a black bed skirt for my bed. I debated whether or not I wanted to get white or black um, because my bedding is going to be white, but the base of my bed and the trunks that surround my bed are black. So I felt like getting black would honestly be the best option because it'll make everything blend in a little bit more seamlessly. And this is just a pleated, um, this is a pleated bed skirt in size king. Um, and it's in the color noir, you know, black. So yeah, so it's just a basic black bed skirt. And this is like a traditional bed skirt because they do make some bed skirts where you don't gotta lift the whole mattress to put the bed skirt down. No, this is a traditional full body bed skirt. Um, this is the top and then these are the sides. So yeah. So I'm gonna go put this on the bed today, um, probably before I take a nap because a nap is needed. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Oh, boo! Because why the pillow fluffed up already? The pillow said I am in more foam and I am here to, to expand. Look at my and lastly, the last thing I got from Amazon, which is the thing that I haven't been telling you guys, I feel like I haven't told you guys about yet, but my plan for above my bed in my bedroom is these strip lights. Sorry, let me correct myself. These rope lights. Um, and... They're LED rope lights. 
and I'm super excited about them because they don't look like the traditional strip lights. And I do want my bedroom to be a vibe and be aesthetic -y and be cute, but I also want it to be giving. And I love a good neon light. So I think these are gonna be so cute. Like this is the light here. Which side is the light? So that's the back. Huh? 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 Oh, oh, cause it go like this. So these are the, <laughs> so these are the lights. They do come with little screws and uh, clips so that you can attach them to the wall. And it also comes with a remote, but this is also Bluetooth compatible. So best believe I am going to pair this young thing up with my phone because you can create different scenes, different vibes, make it do different things. And I'm excited about this. So this might not be getting put in or installed in this video. It may be in the next one. One that's a little bit more dedicated to the bedroom, but, cause this one is kind of more dedicated to the bar. So yeah. But that is a surprise. That is the thing that I haven't been telling you, but I've been thinking about and preparing myself for. What do you guys think about that idea? Like, I don't know what pattern or what I wanted to do because I wanted originally to do an LED light above the bed that said something cute like, let's stay in bed or, or briefly, briefly, I thought about play dirty, briefly. But then I thought about let's stay in bed or it was all a dream, something cute like that. But then I said, you're probably going to get sick of the same, not very quickly, but you're going to want something different. And I also don't want it to be one light. Like I want to change the vibes and the aesthetic and have a pink light and then maybe have a blue light in it. Cause my room is gonna be very black, white, and gray. So a pop of whatever color I want could also be brought in through the lights, especially like the nighttime vibes, like I want it to be given, okay? So that's why I was thinking of getting the LED sign, but the rope lights, one, are cheaper. Two, I can make it into whatever pattern. I can make it say words. I could have got the long version, which was like 32 feet and made it say less stay in bed, but I decided against that. And I decided to get just a 16 foot one because I felt that's plenty for me to just do like, I can do XO, I can do a heart, I can do like some little lines and then a heart. Like I can, you know, do whatever I want with it. And I think it's going to be super, super cute once I put it in and it's going to blend into the wall during the day. So even if I don't turn it on, like it's not like it's really gonna be doing much on the wall because it's gonna be this gray color so it's gonna look like it's just like water or water pour so it's still gonna be cute either way more or off but all but one is gonna pop so i'm super excited about that and you know what a rope light like a nice little five foot rope light would even be cute above the bar because I can do like a little doop doop and then come around the top circle of the bar and do doop doop. Does that make sense? Like have it like a up, uh, uh, like a up down, come around the circle of the bar, up down, or like down up. Something cute. I think that could even be cute. So we may, we may look into that i don't know yet but i love the mirror i love the vibes i love how it's coming together i love the curtains like super happy i'm loving the pillows as of right now how quick these girls is expanding they still over here getting thick y'all thought y'all knew y'all remember how it was when i pulled her out she's getting thick on us and she's soft but she's not like too soft but I'm still gonna let them, um, and it doesn't really, it doesn't have a smell to me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So now y'all, the only thing we need is the last few things for the bar cart, like the cocktail glasses, the wine glasses, the alcohol, um, some little glasses for me to put the garnishes in. 
and then the bar cart is basically done it's besides my light whatever light option i want to do over there and then the bedroom the only thing we need now is the duvet cover and the throw pillows the duvet cover the throw pillows and a good throw blanket okay and we're done and we're done like and so far i don't know if i told i think i'm pretty sure i told you guys earlier i love the duvet insert it's soft it's comfortable it's warm without being hot but still like cooling and it's weighted it got that weight on it so it feel like a nice weighted blanket or something like it's good and i like the way the cotton sounds like when it's moving and it's touching itself and it's like you touch like i like the way it sounds and when you give it a good woof, it fluff like them feathers be going stupid inside like it's great it's great 10 out of 10 recommend that comforter that duvet insert um but yeah yeah i gonna see if i can find my stomach just was talking i just ate a cup of the vita noodles the little the microwave cups because it's 4 46 that's the first thing i ate today tea <laughs> um but yeah i'm loving the mirror i'll see if i can find a link to it on like amazon or something like that because i did get it from the furniture store um, but I'll see if I can find one on Amazon. I did notice, y'all, he did give me the floor model because I negotiated and I talked him down after the price a little bit. So he gave me the floor model. And I'm noticing now that there's like a little scratch or something on the mirror. And it's been over a month that I had it. I just never opened it. And I knew I should have opened it when I first got it to make sure it was good. But it was so nicely wrapped in that summer and wrap that I just did not want to bother it. But I should have because then I would have seen that the mirror has some scratches on it. I would have been able to call him and say, hey, I know this is the floor model, but give me the mirror that don't got no scratches on it. I'm going to still try to call and see what they say. Just tell him that I just literally opened the mirror today and see, but it's been over a month. So I don't know. I don't know. My, my, um, I actually got the receipt right here, don't I? Let me see. I actually got the receipt right here. Yeah, it's a floor model. So I don't know if it's gonna come with a um I don't know if it's gonna come with a warranty. I don't know if it's gonna come with a warranty. Cause it was literally the floor model. And I bought it on 617 and it's 623. I mean it's 723. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna check into it, but I did get it from Best Home Furniture and Mattress in Katy, Texas. But I'm pretty sure I found it on Bed Bath and Beyond and Amazon. So I'll try to link them in the description box below. I'll link all my Amazon products in the description box below. I'll also link, um, yeah, that's it, that's it. But yeah, I'm gonna look into them curtains to see if maybe I got a defective pack and just tell the people like, hey, your curtains are a little short and see if maybe they'll give me a longer size. But the next size is gonna be too long. And then I gotta try to struggle to get that curtain rod down and put the, the longer curtains on. So we'll see, we will see. But yeah, that's all I got for right now. What I'm about to do right now is chill i'm honestly probably gonna braid my hair real quick and go take a quick nap because it's almost five o'clock and take a nap until like seven and then get up and make dinner and then you know like be up to do all my things for the day because like i said i'm running off of three four hours max of sleep and i'm tired um because it feels like it's something else i'm supposed to say and i just don't remember what it was like i'm missing something I don't remember what it was. I don't. I really don't. Yeah. I'm excited, y'all. I'm going to put the bed. The beds. I'm going to put the pillows on the bed. Probably tomorrow. I'm going to try to give them a full 24 hours to fluff. And then I'm probably going to put the bed skirt on tomorrow as well. 
um you know when it's brighter outside it's not such gloomy i can open the curtains and open the blinds i can open the curtains <laughs> i can open the curtains and the blinds and have the sun coming in that way we get some natural sunlight when i'm recording it instead of having like the yellow light of the the, the light in my room so and i'm also not putting these lights up today those will all be projects for tomorrow or later on this week because tomorrow i should have a full day so we will see um we will see but yeah y'all i'm excited i hope y'all are excited to continue on this journey with me and we're almost done um for now we just have the bedroom and finish out the bedroom because we've already done stuff in there finish out the bedroom and finish out the bar cart like i said the kitchen is going to be okay for right now the bathroom is going to be okay for right now i just really got to go find some good throw pillows so whenever i go looking for them glasses i'm going to try to go to at home to see if they got the pillows that i want and kind of go from there But okay, y'all, I'm about to go lay down. I don't feel like braiding my hair. I think I'm going to do two big braids. No, I'm going to try to do four. I'm going to try to do four braids because that's what I had at first. I'm going to try to do four braids and go lay down, take me a nap with the curtains closed and the blinds down. The blackout curtains is blackout curtaining. I'll show you guys tomorrow when it's like bright daylight. I'll close the blinds and show you. Um, which it looks great now with the blinds open, so, yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm rambling because I'm tired, and there's something else I'm supposed to remember to say to you guys, and I just cannot remember what it is. So, yeah. Oh, my task. Um, so, yeah, my task cost $87 because he was here for an hour and a half hour 45 minutes and task rabbit charges thirty dollars for something so my task cost eighty seven dollars for an hour 45 minutes of service so that's not bad but i definitely thought my project was gonna be like an hour but that was me being hopeful you know me being hopeful so yeah anywho i will go and stop rambling and i'll see you guys later in the video bye y'all nap where <laughs> it is 10 22 p.m sis <laughs> you went to sleep at like six i think i might be up all night <laughs> I might be up all night. Well, I mean, it's late, but I might just make dinner. I don't know. y'all and welcome back to my channel life of deja today is um <clears throat> july 27th it's 12 29 p.m um i'm a little out of it i'm having a a conversation um about something going on that's all i'll say so i'm a little out of it right now um and 
unbelief, disbelief, I guess is the term, but anyway. Um, yeah, today is Saturday the 27th. Um, I have plans today. I want to go out to go to Target to see if I can find the sheets that I've been craving so bad, <laughs> wanting so bad for the bed. Um, I want to go to uh, at home, not at home, I'm sorry, Home Goods or Marshalls to see if I can find the cocktail glasses and the wine glasses for the bar. And then lastly, I need to drop off my old sheets back to Amazon or to UPS, FedEx, one of the two for my return for the sheets that I ordered from Amazon. And I'm starving, so I want to get some breakfast. Being that it is Saturday, I'm not gonna go to one of my favorite brunch breakfast places out here, which is the Toasted Yolk. I'm gonna go to Aunt Jackie's, which is like a diner place not too far from where I live. Um, and hopefully they're not crazy busy in there and just get me some quick breakfast. Um, and then, you know, go about my day. I do need to get back here semi early because I do need to finish editing my video and post it. I've edited all the clips and stuff that I have up until this one. So that's wonderful. Um, I just need to add in these clips and then post it and hopefully finish off the bar cart area today besides whatever light that I want to get. So I'm hoping to get wine glasses and the cocktail glasses and maybe a bar book. Um, for the area and just a glass jar for the garnish something like that will be great and then in like maybe next week or so I'll go to the liquor store and get a couple of bottles I do have friends coming in town so I'm gonna get just a couple just to have and then also um, you know because I want the bar to be functional and then whatever liquor that they decide to get I'll take them to the store and we'll also have that in here as well. That would be kind of unprepared. I need to make a grocery list of a couple of things that I want to get for them and have in the fridge when they're here as well. So yeah, I have a couple of things I need to do, but today the focus is to hopefully finish out the bar cart by getting wine glasses, getting the deco cocktail glasses, and getting a jar for the garnish and hopefully a bar book. So those are the things that we're gonna look for in the store today. And then the bedroom, I haven't done the lights, I haven't done the bed skirt yet. Um, I haven't done, you know, I'm still looking for a duvet cover. So that'll all be in next week's video. It's gonna be putting up the lights, putting on the bed skirts, hopefully, putting on the duvet cover, the sheets, the deco pillows, hopefully we'll find some pillows today i'm not going to really look too hard for pillows because that's not my focus today um and then yeah that'll 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 basically be it so yeah so let's just hurry up and go today is a rainy day i put on my wig so if you're interested in this wig i do have a, uh, a review of this wig on my channel i'll be sure to link it up above i just put it on last night and I was sitting in here talking to my grandma. It looks good. I'm still working out the baby hairs, but I um, put it on, I secured it, put on my elastic band, put on my bonnet, put in some, uh, um, I curled it last night, but then I put in some flexi rods to try to keep the curls and I didn't curl it this morning. I just try to bump the, the front a little bit to give me a little volume because I like a little volume in the front and then to kind of curl my little these pieces <laughs> I don't know what they're called my swoops so yeah so that's kind of what we have let me check myself out in the mirror yeah we are good we're looking good wig is looking phenomenal melts in beautifully and we is secure so yeah that's all we have for right now let's hurry up and go so i can stop rambling today is a gloomy rainy day outside so i just have on a t-shirt some tights some leggings some socks and i'm about to put on some shoes um i'm about to put on some shoes should be a quick day it's 12 30 now I hope to be home by three because breakfast should really only take 30, 40 minutes. And then I just gotta go to drop off my UPS package, which is up the street, drop off or, and then go to Target and 
home goods marshals which are around the corner from each other so i should be able to get home by three before the traffic and everything peaks and then you know get in here do all my stuff and then cook dinner tonight but i'm rambling so let's hurry up and get the day started and i'll see you guys at breakfast hopefully hopefully they're not too busy if they're busy we'll have to grab something through a drive through because it is saturday and i don't feel like sitting and waiting for everyone being around everyone it's already gonna be hard enough in the stores so all right i'll see you soon bye Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused. You must think I got to be joking when I say I don't think I can wait. I just need it now. Let it swing my way. I just need something. I just need something. Tired of fucking with these lying niggas, baby. I just need a thug. Won't you be my thug? to Target, I went to Dollar Tree, I went to UPS to drop off my Amazon package, and I went to get breakfast, and I also went to Home Goods Marshalls. So I'll be right back. Okay, so starting off with my first stop, which was Dollar Tree, I just picked up some stuff that I needed for the house. So I spent like $21.55 in Dollar Tree. I got me some pine glow to clean the floors as well as some fabuloso. I got a pack of sugar cookies because they didn't have chocolate chip. I got these little mini Cordell, Cordell glasses. They're like little dessert glasses, but they're like plastic and they are six in a pack and they look like little shot glasses. And like I said, my friends are coming in town so it's like a double shot, <laughs> it's a double shot. So I just got one pack of these um, and I'm gonna get the little small red cut ones, red cut ones too. I got these little soap savers. I love the soap savers in my shower. Like I keep these exact ones in there and you put your bar soap up here so that they don't like melt as fast in the shower or like get washed away as quickly or something like I don't know the the science behind it but it saves your soap bit by bit you know and also so it's not just like resting in the metal rack or on the little stone thing um where the water kind of stays this way if water gets on it, it's able to drain through maybe that's the science behind it I don't know anyway um but I got these for my sister because I already have some but I picked these up for her from Dollar Tree as well I re-upped on my hand soap. I like this soft soap 
um, fresh scent. I got me four of these. I got me a pack of gum for my work bag and then just a pack of gum just to have. I got just some AA battery, I'm sorry, AAA batteries and AA batteries because when I was going through the drawer the other day, after the storm and stuff, like the storms we've had, I filled my flashlights and my remotes and all of that with batteries, so I was basically out. So I just grabbed me some extra batteries to restock my drawer. And then lastly, I got me some Vaseline cocoa butter chopsticks. Actually, that's not, that wasn't the last thing I got. <laughs> And lastly, I got this little jar that they had in Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but it's just gonna be something for now. It's just a little like, are these called mason jars? Glass mason type of jar where it has the lid lock so that I can put those lines in here. Um, I wanted something a bit more cute and a bit more aesthetic-y, but these are gonna do for, this is gonna do for right now. And that now is everything that I got from Dollar Tree. So again, I spent $21.55 in Dollar Tree. And it was mainly just household stuff. One thing for my sister. And then like the rest is like, you know, knick-knacky things. Like, not knick-knacky things, but like things that I just needed for my house. Okay. So let me move this stuff out the way. Those will go over there too. All right, so the next stop I made was Target. So let me grab everything that I got from Target. So in Target, I spent about, oh, focus. So in Target, I spent about $110. Um, and I got mainly household stuff and like personal care things. Okay, so in Target, I got these Fresh Scent Tall Kitchen Trash Bags. These are my favorite trash bags to get that are not Glade and Hefty name brand. I tr am trying out new detergent. So ever since I bought the Tide Pods, I've been wanting to try different detergents because I feel like the Tide Pods don't really get the clothes to have. They're clean, but they don't have that fresh, clean smell that I love. So I'm gonna take it back to what my mama used to use when I was a kid. She uses Game, my sister uses Game. So when I was at her house, a few weeks ago. I like the way her towels and stuff smell like they smell like, oh, these are fresh, fresh, fresh. Not, oh, these are fresh. Like, do you get, I don't know if I'm making sense. So I just got the Gain original. All the other fragrances was just too much for me to think about and try to play around with and sniff. So I was like, let's just get the original, the OG, and just keep it pushing. I also got the original um, Gain Fireworks. These were actually on sale for this bottle. It was just $2.50. So I got a small bottle of this so I can try it out and see if I want to use these or if I want to use, um, continue to use my Downy Unstoppables. I also got my Glade plugins for my bathroom and for my bedroom. These are the scents that I like to plug in there. And then you already know I got my Febreze bamboo scent for the living room and like the kitchen. This is like my whole household scent that I like to use. Because something been going on in my throat lately, I went ahead and got me some Ricolas. This is the honey herb type. And Target was having a sale, so I got me a couple of different personal care products. So I got my favorite scent of the Tree Hut whipped body butter this is the moroccan rose love this scent my favorite tree hut scent um four pack of dove beauty bars two cartons or two canisters are these canisters two of these dove deodorants And I'm trying out this new Olay scent. It's not a new scent, but it's a new scent to me. Um, this is the Olay Fresh Outlast. This is the one that has notes of birch water and lavender. It smells fresh and clean in the store. So I want to try it, see how I like it. And that is everything I got in Target. Like Target is such a wild place because you will literally walk out with like 
10 items, six items, and have spent $110. Like, I have to stop doing my house, my healthcare, healthcare, household shopping at Target. But I like Target. I feel like they be having the best deal on toilet paper most times. And I love that. I love their up and up brand of paper towels. Like, these paper towels from Target, the up and up brand, I love them. Like, they're nice quality they're absorbent like they're great so i think that's one of the reasons why i mainly like to go to target for house care products but we don't have to and i like their trash cans we they trash bags we don't have to start going to walmart big lots we don't have to start going somewhere else because target ain't giving it with the price because why did i come out with two bags and 110 dollars later like something gotta give and then my last store that I went into that I bought something from was Burlington. Burlington, where did that come from? Was Home Goods. Let me grab that bag. So in Home Goods, so in Home Goods, I got a couple of things. Um, I tried to only get things for the bar cart. I did not get sheets in Target because I didn't like the feel of the sheets. Like they were okay, but they weren't like everything that I had wanted them to be. Everything that I was hoping for. So. I'm going to look around on like Amazon and anywhere else, like other stores to see if I can find good sheets. I meant to look while I was in Marshall's Home Goods, but I completely forgot. So yeah, no sheets, no decorative pillows, no extra pillows. I just try to focus on the bar. So from Home Goods, Marshall's, I got just these flat black shoes. They're not cute. <laughs> But, you know, they're just like a knitted material and they have memory foam inserts like a one inch thick, maybe half an inch thick memory foam insert on the inside. And I just got these because I needed just some flat black shoes for because I want to go start going back to church and I don't want to wear sneakers. Like, I mean, I know I can, but if I'm going to be dressing up and I don't want to wear heels, I want to have an option. Also, just in general, when I don't wear heels, I want to have an option of some shoes. So these are just some dance skin black dream flats. That's that's all. And these are $20. Okay, so not everything else that I got from Marshalls is for the bar. And I spent $65.15 in Marshalls and Home Goods Marshalls. So first off, I got something that was never on my list for the bar, but I think it's a good addition, which is this cute little ice pail. Like, it was $15. Hold on now, because I don't like how that was twisting off at the lip like that. detail on the bin and you know nothing on the inside but just cute I think it's so freaking cute and again it was just $14 and I think that this is gonna go cute on the bottom shelf of the bar cart so that I have some stuff down there too now hold on what's that when we finna go back oh all right because I was gonna say I was gonna say but it's a cute little, little ice pail, little ice chest. It's barware entertaining collection. Next up, I got this, which is just another drink mix, but I got this one. It's a drink mix I already had. This is the strawberry margarita one and it has like the dry limes, dry strawberries, 
um, dry lemons in there and just the mix. And this one doesn't have instructions. I don't know where they went. It, all I know is it says just add tequila. 4.6 ounces of it, I'm assuming. And it makes 25.4 fluid ounces of drink. But I just love this bottle. Like, the bottle in general, I saw this in another Marshall's Home Goods. And this was $10, by the way, $9.99. And I didn't get it because the line was too long and it was the only thing I was going to get. But since I had other things that I was getting in the store, I decided to go ahead and get this when I saw it. Because I think the bottle is so cute. Like, even when I, we, you know, drink all the drinks in here, the mix and everything, and we pour it out, clean it out, this bottle in general will be super cute to leave over there. And, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a cute bottle, and it's going to look cute just sitting over there in general. This will probably go top or bottom shelf. I don't know. Probably top shelf somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. But I thought this was so cute. So I got this. And lastly, I will say, I didn't find any glasses that I was in love with in the store. I just found some that were cute. So you should have seen like um, the tall reflective glasses that were asymmetrical. And then there was other glasses that were like a washed pastel, like foggy pink and foggy purple color. Um, and I couldn't decide which one of the ones I wanted to get if I wanted to get the pink one, the purple one, or the asymmetrical ones. Which one do you think I got? I got the asymmetrical ones because I just love how tall they are. And because they are reflective, it does bring in shades of purple. And it also brings in shades of pink. So these are just temporary. These were $7.99 each. And I went ahead and got two. Just because they're different. And I think they're cute. And I love, love, love how long the stems are on these. And again, they're just temporary to have something on the top shelf for now. But I do want something to be more of a pink or purple color to bring in some more of those. But these are just temporary for now. I thought they were super cute in the store. And, you know, I felt like, go ahead and get them. Why not? But let me know what you think of these glasses, you know. I think they're cute. I like the shape. Um, even if they weren't asymmetrical, I still would like them. I probably would like them a little bit more if they weren't. Just because I love how long the stem is. Like, that's the main reason why I got these. And the color. The color's cute, but it could be better. And, yeah. That was literally everything I got in the store today. I spent, what's that, $200? little shy of 200 no no i said $200 probably outside today 110 at target 65 at marshall's home goods 20 in dollar tree 26 for breakfast like we spent some coin today so yeah um that is everything and I'm gonna go ahead and prop you guys up real quick so that we can quickly do the bar carts. And yeah, that'll be it. But let's take a quick thumbnail. But yeah, this is my home for today. But yeah, let me go ahead and um prop you guys up so that you can see me try to play around with the bar cart but first I need to wash out this little mason jar thing that I got from Dollar Tree so that I can put um the lines in here and then I'll come back for you guys for the next part Ooh. sticker could have just came off nicely but it doesn't want to What's it about putting a piece of ice on it? Or is that gum in the carpet? Or is that both irrelevant? I'll see you soon.
remember that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Yep. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> today um, I hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel we are forever growing and I would love to have you join um, I hope you like the bar card tell me what do you think about it I love it yeah let me know what you think about the bar cart I love it I love like this top shelf of course the second shelf here and here we got a lot of things to do down here but as of right now the bar cart is finished um the only thing i would want to do is get some alcohol bottles down here um, and get some wine here and maybe play around with the second shelf here just a little bit more but as of right now i'm i'm loving it i'm loving it i think it looks gorgeous and i can't wait to get some type of light fixture to go over here to bring in some more light nice warm light or something like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um i hope you like comment down below let me know what you think of the bar cart what things you think i can add or change or any suggestions that you have and um again subscribe to the channel and i can't wait to see you in my next one which will be a bedroom update with all the things that i've got and hopefully we find some pillows we'll do some shopping and all those things so again i hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful saturday and i will catch you in my next one bye